시즌4 네, 오늘도 KDL의 미래 티어2 그룹의 경기부터 여러분과 함께 하겠습니다 현재까지 티어2에서는 제퍼와 테마이가 3승으로 선두권을 유지하고 있는 가운데 비마이너와 포타투가 그 뒤를 바짝 쫓고 있습니다 접전의 티어2 오늘은 과연 어떤 팀이 1승과 함께 상금 100만 원을 가져갈 수 있을지 오늘의 양 팀을 소개해드리겠습니다. 티어2의 터즈대감 몽키스테너 그리고 맹활약 중인 신생팀 비마이너를 큰 박수로 환영해 주십시오. 안녕하세요. 어서 오세요. 안녕하세요. 대 l 시즌4 13번째 티어트 그룹의 경기 그럼 여러분의 힘찬 응원과 함께 몽키스패너와 비마이너 비마이너와 몽키스패너의 전장 속으로 지금 출발하겠습니다 Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day at the KDL. This is season four, the final season of the year. I'm Moonglade, and with me once again, and as usual, it is Karn. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. It's great to be here again. I ca it's kind of, I'm kind of sad it's only one day a week this this uh, this season. Yeah, you know, it's, I, like, yeah. I, it's, it's just like such a big break between matches, but uh, no, it's good to be here once again, and uh, we got some pretty interesting matches here today. Starting with B minor up against Monkey Spanner. Yeah, it uh, should be pretty interesting. Uh, Monkey Spanner having a bit of a, a bit of a sad season so far. They're currently sitting in second last place. Yeah, they're which not is, doing yeah, very well. It's a I bit mean. surprising, actually. It's uh, something we're not quite used to from these guys. But you know what? They they've been pretty consistent all year long. And it's it's kind of sad that they're dropping out at the uh, the final yeah. moment now. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I think they played two games. Is that I've, I believe they've played three, and they're one and two so they're far. They're one and two, okay. Yeah, so they actually cannot afford to, to lose this game, or they actually might even be knocked out at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, actually, if they lose this game, I think they're guaranteed to be out. Yeah, there's only, like, three matches left in Tier 2, I think. Well, here we are, and, uh, yeah. We here we are. Here is your casters. Yeah, Rube, hello, current. Hello, nice everybody. to see you guys. Yeah, and, Welcome. Uh, yeah, like they're one three. So if they lose, actually, I think they might be already. I think it's the last game. There's six teams in this two, so it's the last game. They're, no, they're one two. I mean, I'm sorry, they have two games left. Okay. Yeah, they have two games left. If so they lose another one, I think they're almost guaranteed to be out. Yeah, very very unless, safe to say. Yeah, unless there's like some head to head working mm. in the favor, there's some ties, but yeah. And B minor currently sitting at two two, and yeah. I believe third position. If I'm yeah. mistaken, not mistaken. If they win today, they might have a chance at top two. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. And here's the line. Uh, here's the standings. So B minor yeah. in third position. Zephyr haven't lost a game this season. They're doing very, very well in tier two. Yeah. And Lotum surprisingly doing quite badly. But I guess not so surprising considering yeah. they did lose three members this season. So, uh, a lot of them got. Yeah, it's not the same team. No. Yeah, I'm not really surprised to be honest. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty brutal standing, actually. Yeah, yeah and they got a like, pretty heavy downgrade from what they had before. So yeah, and, like they lose some synergy, everything. You know, it's not gonna be the same. Yeah, It'll, it's gonna take them a little season to kind of get chemistry going again. And Rave doing very well this season. They're they're back in form. Finally, it's been yeah. they've, they've kind of been uh haven't been showing the best performances in KDL, but they're doing very very well online. And finally, yeah. they're able to replicate that in the KDL. And yep. They're, they two owed MVP Phoenix uh, just the other week, so yeah. they're primed to, to win their match today once again against the other MVP team, MVP Hot Six. Yeah, I think they're definitely the favorites against Hot Six, especially after what they did to Phoenix. Like, Hot Six are right now weaker than what how we, what it was last season, mm. so it's still yeah. It, I think 
definitely the Braves probably going to be very confident going into this. Yeah. We, right, we, we got this. They should. They should absolutely. And, you know, what better time to, to go on a huge win streak than at the end of the year? It's Christmas time. It's time to buy, spend some money, have some yeah. fun. Yeah, man. Why not? So it's time to cash in. It's, it is time to cash in. And uh, we even saw uh, MVP Phoenix p uh, participate over Dream League recently as well. Yeah, like, and they're doing pretty well. Yeah, they did, pretty well, they did surprisingly well, but uh, still just not enough to kind of get, make it over the edge there and, yeah. and qualify for the next stage, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Either. But anyway, back to uh, Tier 2 here, Monkey Spanner. Have done very well in the past in Tier 2, but this season is, seems to be their worst so far. Jesus Stick, Nace, Seven Star, Ten Bird, and Lana. They've only won one game. Yeah, and I, I put that on the back of Park, renamed Seven Star. That's why they're not doing good, man. Oh yeah, seven yeah. star. He's, yeah, he's seven a weak star. Yeah, no, you sh I mean, you should not rename to seven star. That's all. That's, <laughs> what, that's, that's his mistake. Yeah, I, I, I got to agree with you there. Seven star is a bit of a weird name, uh, and obviously, there's cursed the team for this season. They are yep. under the seven star curse. Yeah, look at him, man. He's like, he's like, oh my god. Like, he he I, knows. He's, he <laughs> takes full responsibility already. <laughs> but uh, this is a very important game for Monkey Spanner. They have to win today, or they could very well be uh, they having. Be out. To yeah, they're going to have to qualify again. Yep. And here is B Minor, a, a new team this yeah, season. Yeah, apparently they have a new member for this game. Or maybe, they, maybe there's probably some switch. Mm -hmm. There's one new player. I think it's uh, Yuya, maybe? Yeah. No, not Yuya. Muda, Muda. No, actually, I don't even know. I'm not even sure. This team is so new. And we haven't yeah. seen much of them, actually. A lot of the games have been played offline. Yeah. There's Gabriel. He loves to post on Liquid Dota, I believe. I, I saw some discussion between him and Blitz recently. Oh, yeah. Quite entertaining. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what these guys have got in store. I think this is a pretty good chance for them to, to take a win off uh, a pretty low powered monkey spanner here. And yeah. if they take it, they kind of they've definitely secured themselves for next season if they get this win. Yeah, they might even get top two. So let's see. I'm Quite jumping in the draft pretty early now. Yeah, everything's on cue today. Any second now. But anyway, yeah, B minor. I like their uh, their outfits there. Nice yellow. Yellow? Looks good. That is oh. yellow. Yeah. Uh, I like the... Yeah, actually, yeah, I think I like the yellow one more. Yeah, it looks it looks much better uh, than the uh, the military green, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about it. It's just... Yeah. I don't think I ever wore this one, actually. I always get the yellow one. Oh, when yeah? I play, it was always the yellow one. Like, both, both seasons I play, it was only the yellow one. Like, all right. Yeah, looks good for a new team there. And... Um, I mean, what is what is your take on B minus so far from what you've seen of them? Do you think they're they've got a a good chance of getting top two? Well, I don't I actually don't know. It really depends on this game. Like, everything's gonna be on the back of this game. Mm, yeah, that is for sure. I, I think they have what it takes, but uh, I mean, I mean they're already Spanner's, two two, so they are two two. And Monkey Spanner though is a very experienced team. Granted, they aren't doing very well this season, but. Uh, yeah, I, I still think they, they'd come in with at least a little bit of a favor. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so. And uh, they seem to know <laughs> the minor li uh, likes to play Wisp. Yeah, okay. First band Wisp. Yep. Uh, no doubt they really know what B minor likes to play because that is uh, a band you don't usually see straight yeah. off the bat. It's usually like if there is any kind of respect band you usually get uh, at the first phase, it's like this hero is like one of the one that come up the most mm. as a as a respect band at least. Okay, they have a, they don't have to play this hero pretty well. Maybe they like the, the wisp, wisp yeah. tiny, perhaps. Yeah, wisp tiny or wisp. Uh, well, Bristol by like every Phoenix likes to run. That is like, true. Crush the crush C9 with it. They crush uh, alliance with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like they keep doing really really well whenever they use this. Like in the west, in the west, they don't seem to be catching up too much to that. Mm. Uh, they probably didn't watch too many MVP games. And MVP every now every now and then they they like to use it mm -hmm. and uh, it's very 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 strong. You in the off lane like dual lane off lane and it's very strong. And, yeah, fair enough. Batrider yeah. being the first pick for B minor and Naga for Monkey Spanner here. Yeah, I, I think Monkey Spanner's plan is like all right, we're better than you. We're gonna take it late game and we're just gonna win. It's gonna play a macro game. We're gonna yeah. go for the late game here. Get that Naga up. And running. I uh, like the okay. This is something that we've done before too with Monkey Spanner, like the Mirana Naga. Like uh -huh. Mirana could be support, and she just roams. And whenever Naga hits six, when she has song, it's pretty much easy kill on anybody. Yeah. And in mid, it's like easy kill when Naga hits six. Use song arrow, you get max max duration, max damage arrow uh, with it, and then it's easy kill. Yeah, I like this combination a lot so far. What is B minus reaction to this there? 
Yeah, that's a dig. That's the bad rider. Uh, very good here in this patch. And Slug 2. Ah, Slug 2 has been very strong these days. Uh, in Dream League 2, we see a lot yeah. of it. How do you fare him against the Naga there? I, I, feel, I feel like in the late game, when it like, comes down to it, it's going to be... He's not... Well, but that's the thing. Slug is... Like, when you pick Slug, you want to play really aggressive and, like... Uh, roam around the map, put a lot of pressure so that she can't perform as easily. And like with the thing with slug is like when you pounce, you cannot pounce illusions. Right. So you, you, even if there's like a bunch of illusions, you're always gonna get the right mana. So mm, that is true. That is true. Uh, I think slug is actually pretty okay. Uh, he does not affect it by the mat. Uh, he doesn't care too much about Naga, like just a speed push that's annoying. You know? mm. And slug again, like he need, doesn't need as much. So he's gonna need his first items like. Maybe Midas and Treads, Big Dagger, or Drums, depends how he wants to play. Usually Big Dagger. Yeah. And then, see a lot yeah, of and then just walk around, like kill supports, put a lot of pressure, and that's what b is going to do. They also have a bad rider, so they already, they, they, they're going to have to put the pressure. They have a lot of pick-off, that's for sure, yeah. Absolutely. It still comes down to getting that Blink Dagger online for both those series. Yes. Then they have a lot of potential. There's Yo Yap, Choi Wu Sok. Yep. Support player had played Skywrath in the last two games. Hasn't been banned yet, too. So hasn't been banned yet, hasn't and could banned. really uh, could be very good in this lineup. Actually, last year, Mystic Flare, sick damage. Yep. And uh, Jakiro ban. Uh, actually, very good ban because uh, if they could get the Jakiro, and uh, Jakiro like opens so many options that you can. You can you can like any lineup doesn't have, doesn't have any pushing power. You just add in a Jakiro and that's it. You gotta be yeah. pushing power, you don't need anything more. Mm. Yeah, Liquid I completely fire, agree. Uh, Liquid Fire probably one of the strongest spells in the game. I think it's actually strongest too strong. Strongest pushing spell, I, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. And I mean, it would really uh, suit this lineup, this very, very aggressive lineup we already see. They'll, they'll have the pickoff, they'll have the the, uh, the ability to push towers very early on. And yeah, the, okay, like, actually this is a big mistake from the minor not banning the Vengeful Spirit. This is like the, one of the best counters to Bad Rider, and they just leave it in the pool. Just to ban Metal Titan. I guess they don't want the Yellow Titan to pull because it allows you to stall for a very long time. Mm. Especially with the Naga. As long as you get the, Naga, the Radiance on Naga, this plus uh, Elder Titan is too difficult to push against it. Yeah, that is for sure. Uh, and the Brewmaster, well, obviously, very strong hero. You don't want to leave it out. But they let the Vengeful. And I think it's gonna, it might play a very huge role in this game. Yeah, I definitely see that being true. I mean, it'll be great against Pounds, great against Lasso, whatever. Yep. It'll be very, very, very helpful. There's Tem Bird, one of the oldest players on Monkey Spanner, if not the oldest. Uh, no, actually no, it's uh, Park. Park's the oldest? Park and Nasser are the two from the original Monkey Spanner uh -huh. back in Season 1. Okay. But no doubt, Tem Bird is the leader of this gang. Yep. These days, anyway. You can see the Razor Band out from Monkey Spanner. Yeah, again, heroes that allow them allow B minor to just push a lot, like mm. put pressure on the base. Jakir and Razor, uh, two, both very good. And Lion, wow, okay, so a lot of a lot of burst damage there as well. Lion very good there against illusion heroes anyway. In general, when Hex remove one illusion, mana burn remove another one. So yeah, that is very true. That's a, a good counter pick there. Yeah, pretty good. So Naga, I think Naga is gonna already not gonna have the easiest game. But at least the base is not still. They don't have any pushing power, so yeah, Monkey Spanner is probably happy about it for now. So what is left in the pool to push? Like there's not much actually. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what would be great for them to push with. Yeah, you can. Oh, and, and Monkey Spanner gets the, the Viper. Okay, this is a. This is gonna help out in the mid game and early game. Yeah. For sure. So that makes space. Like, okay, we have a Viper. You wanna fight us? We're gonna fight. Mm. And Naga is gonna be able to farm. But there's seven star. Yeah, park. The park. The park. Only one. Much preferred name. This is kind of ironic as well, considering so many parks out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why. I think that's that was the point of it. Yeah, I, mean, I hope so because that, it's good. And uh, yeah, like Monkey Spanner, they're gonna be ready to fight. I think it's gonna be uh, supporting Rana. So looking, it's definitely looking that way, and, and we can see a very, very strong uh, offensive try as well. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. A sick. Sick offensive try. So much stun, so much lockdown. Yeah, and against the slug, I think that's probably what they were gonna look to do. Yeah, to slowing down the slug, stopping him from getting that blink dagger anytime soon would do so much work. Yeah, and like slug is not good in aggressive try on try action. He's very weak. You just focus him down, like he cannot fight. Yeah. 
I, so, I definitely see that being a thing. It, yeah, I think they could aggressive try lane or they could just form up the Viper uh, to secure the mid game and to buy space for the Naga, but aggressive try is also a good way. The only thing they have to make sure mid matchup is not going to be too difficult for the Naga. Yeah. So that she can just do it on her own and she doesn't need any help. And uh, if they aggressive try into it, it's going to deny the... I mean, b miner is going to have either to like be, be all three there all the time so they cannot form the jungle or anything. And they also cannot like rotate too much hmm. mid for the Naga. Hmm. And as soon as they try, then they can get a, try to get a kill on the safe lane. Yeah. So we'll have to see, it's really gonna turn. Oh, okay. b Manor. Witch Doctor. Okay. Uh, not, a, not a horrible... Dazzle, though. Dazzle, sorry, not Witch Doctor. Yeah. Completely wrong there. I'm out of my mind today already. And uh, I guess... I mean, I don't know, we'll have to see. Uh, it's not the strongest lane, actually. I so taking a kind of defensive approach to it is like, all right, like if they aggressive try then mm. at least we can not die maybe. Yeah, I mean like Shelly Grave, yeah. et cetera, will help out, but I mean, they have a very weak it's still going to be a very weak lane, right? Yeah, so if they go aggressive, I think they're going to crush it. Uh, Monkey Spanner, that is. They're going to crush the b minor Trident, so... Mm. And they don't even have the strongest roaming supports either, so like their options are pretty limited. Well, Lion, I guess... Can be pretty good, especially once he's got a uh, got his ulti. Yeah. Can do a little work. As Gabriel plays the uh, the carry, I plays think he switched, it seems like he switched back to mid or something. I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, yeah, he's PA in his last pick. So yeah. Wait and see. No doubt it will tell us about it on Team Liquid at some point. <laughs> and the uh, last ban, I think. Uh, oh, the ban the park. Park would be pretty annoying for Naga. So. Mm. Timbersaur, banned out from B minor as well. Uh, what do you think of that? I mean, looking at the lineup from B minor, they don't, have, they don't have much tank in their lineup. They don't have much strength. Well, they don't have any strength so far. Uh, B minor, yeah, they're pretty squishy, I guess. They are pretty squishy, and I don't know. It seems like a lineup that maybe Timbersaur would not be picked against so far. I'm still waiting to see what they're, I'm guessing. I think they maybe they just want to make sure the Slark can just solo the lane. Uh, Timber is pretty good against Slark. Yeah, that is true. So you kind of you don't want to have to deal with it. And, uh, but uh, I really think they will aggressive try lane. Monkey Spanner likes to do, to do it sometimes. So I would expect them to do so. And, yeah, Ooh, profit. Okay, profit. I'm actually not surprised. Like There's not many heroes. Lana doesn't play... Uh, has a pretty small hero pool, to be honest. He also plays like. Uh, I'm trying to think of something. Uh, usually he plays Centaur. Centaur, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly Centaur what I was is, thinking. Yeah, Centaur has been ignored here. Completely ignored. But uh, it's, it's refreshing to see the Prophet. Been a long time, actually. Now, you think he's going to be more of the off lane or safe lane Prophet? Depending on the try lane? Yeah, it depends if they decide to aggressive try lane. Mm -hmm. I would aggressive try lane. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I would definitely say. Profit on the, the safe lane here. Naga mid, defensive try. I mean, looking at B minus lineup, I didn't I didn't know how they're gonna do very well. Yeah, like well. They, they cannot deal with the aggressive try lane. They cannot like just Ooh, them and, oh. Invoker. All right, all right. Invoker could do pretty decent against the Naga in mid. He cannot stop her too much from problem, though, so he's gonna they're gonna have to help him a little bit. Okay. But here we go, guys. The first match of the day. It's a tier two match. B minor up against Monkey Spanner. Lineups have been made. The game is loading. There's Gabriel. And here we go. Finally, we're in the game here. It's raining. It is raining. Choosing a rainy map today. It's kind of nice. Weather is cold. It is cloudy outside. Suits career just fine. Battery is only going to be happy about this, man. 
Yeah, man. Ma imagine if that actually affected the ass. Uh, <laughs> 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 the goddamn it's right now. I can't it, play it, this game. It lasts like half as long or something. He's like, like, just not, like, not gonna skill it, man. He's <laughs> like napalm, napalm, uh, uh, na uh, what is it? Flame break. Flame break, yep. And no, they're not going aggressive. Yeah, neither team being very aggressive here. We do see Monkey Spanner being uh, quite defensive, but right. B minor chose not to do anything of the sort. People do that a lot these days, like with ba with bat. They just go in the trees, they eat one tree, and they stick themselves stick themselves in the little uh, little spot. Uh, Has is in right now, uh, the off lane. He's gonna get some free XP like this. Well, already the word over. Oh, wow. I think I think the sign woke up and put the word. Yeah, it must have been it there. So very nice D word already. Yeah, that's pretty Seven big. Seven star, aka the park. Oh, he's on point. Yeah, 50 gold for Yeah, that was easy, lol. <laughs> so Monkey Spanner off to a nice little start there. Denying vision where they can. Playing a nice defensive game, which I'm sure they... Uh, that's pretty much the entire plan of this, uh, this lineup. Pretty much makes space for the Naga is um, the name of the game here. And they'll, they'll simply win because the late game of B minor is not looking that good. All they have is a Slark. Yeah, the, like with the Invoker, invoker. they're definitely going for... A kind of timing for a mid game a strong mid game and try to get a big advantage from there and Jin has to be really careful it is Invis Morana like, waiting to arrow and it's yeah. coming oh great arrow but they but cannot get the kill no, though it's, it's under the tower just a little bit of harassment there already a TP in as well this was not needed yeah, but by the Dazzle which is wearing a pretty sick set he's like alright you want to fight let's, let's 2v2 let's do this yeah but yeah like he they couldn't get the kill. You needed the uh, Riptide. I think you should have just banked on a uh, Tempered, maybe hitting an arrow, and then, yeah, maybe there's kill potential. Mm. But without Riptide, there was no kill potential. Yeah. That is true. And especially when the tower is right next to him. Like, Naga would have to commit to taking tower damage if he wanted to do any sort of right clicking. Yeah. And once again, Tempered making the rotation, throwing the arrow. Great arrow there, but Dazzle is on point. He will not go down by the looks of things, though. That arrow was pretty good. He needs one more hit, can he get it? Oh no, but, you know, it's gonna keep him back for a very long time here. Oh, that TP was worth it. Yeah, TP was worth it. Ended up being worth it. Very, very close there, Jin. Solo. Down to 30 HP at one point. Yeah, he's been forced to get uh, some points, a point in quads before he invoke. Mm. Uh, and we didn't end up seeing that offensive try line, which we were suspecting. It's gonna be 2-1 two, two, uh, with uh, Nature's. Soloing the off lane. <laughs> they still the looking for him. They're like, where is he? <laughs> uh, actually, about it. Uh, unless he doesn't care. Yeah. But yeah, he's getting some good XP. Almost level 3. Actually, Lana doing pretty well for himself too. He's almost... Like, they're pretty much even. Managed to get a stack. Like, he needs to... Okay. Yeah, exactly. He's going to pull it away from there so that he can't see it. Oh, uh, that is smart. I like that. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Lana doing great work. In the off lane. And oh. Vipers had free farm completely. Yeah, 11 and safe 4. Lane. Oh. And the smoke for me. They really, want, they really want this invoker, man. They want to like. shut him down, but. Yeah, but he's ready, man. Muda Muda. Muda Muda is waiting. The shadow wave. Does he get his boots? Invoker, that is? I think he got his boots. Uh, yep. yep. So, gonna be a harder kill. I wonder if they would actually go behind the tower for it as well. Yeah, and there is no shallow grave, so they could maybe get it. Mm. Jin is careful. I think I think they sniffed it up. Yeah. Like, All right. No supports on the map. They already tried. Uh, Tempered already tried twice. He's gonna try again, man. Yeah. I mean, it keep applying this pressure though, just giving so much space to the Naga, which they really need to give. Yeah, they oh. a lot. And Lana's Lana dead. could be in uh, big trouble here unless he can turn it around. Oh, uh, one more right click uh, would have done the trick. Salve. Yeah, he's on. And actually, he's fine. Yeah. yeah, Lana is fine. Takes a bit of damage. Level four. That's le oh yeah, level four bad rider too. Mm. But Lana at least getting some farm. Yeah, Lana is actually you know way ahead of the bat rider in that regard. Bat rider pretty much is hiding in the jungle. The entire, I'm sorry, hiding in the trees the entire time. Yeah, stay in the trees. Stay in the trees. Yeah, he, I think this is the right call because he cannot, like Viper is one of the strengths of the hero. He doesn't need supports, mm. especially against a bad rider. If it's just, even if it's just a 1v1, uh, Viper crushes the bad rider, yeah. in my opinion. So. That is safe to say. So he doesn't want to deal with it. Yep. 
And it looks like Batrider completely left. He has abandoned the offlane essentially at this point. Yeah, There's Muda Muda has been doing a great job. He's like protecting the Invoker and stacking at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think. I think. Yeah, but that's still a level one dazzle as well. Yeah, but I mean, still it's a oh right, but ambitious pounce. Relax, Gabriel. I love that name, by the way. <laughs> it's like that's like just a name, dude. It's a normal name. It's like a Jack and Jack, or I don't know, Andrew. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, actually, it's more of a holy name. Oh, he's going straight for it. Hey, he's got six. Uh, he was a triple stack, I think. Yeah. He's gonna get decent devil, decent gold from this. Yeah, he will. Well on his way, unless he dies, of course, which would be a tragedy. And oh, he's gonna be. Oh, he goes down. Oh my God, this is. Uh, first blood to the creeps of the dire jungle. Big mistake there from Hazy. Oh man. Oh, uh, yeah, there like, he is. It's alright, bro. We can go back there, finish it. Oh well, at least he's got his tranks from that. He should have bought actually. <laughs> and they zoom that. in on him as well. This is the guy <laughs> that died in creeps, guys. <laughs> uh, he cannot, like, okay, he gets his level 5. He's maxing Firefly, mm. which is good. He's uh, just an Apal nerf. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Lana, Lana is doing pretty well here. He's, uh, I think he's almost. Uh, he's, oh, actually, he's. No, by the way, he got the stack, so he's, he pulled ahead. Mm. Like, look, he was he had like a zero CS. He's like 15 zero. Yeah, now. he's 15. Yeah, and he's got his level five. I guess it, d it doesn't help that he lost his life there. Like, yeah. So I don't know what I don't know what we can say of that. 15 lost its for the profit there. Yep. Not doing too bad. While in mid, 27 last hits on the Naga, you know, he's, he's getting some great farming against this Invoker. Yeah, Invoker has be, been under a lot of pressure, so they kind of secured the early game for the Naga, and that's all she needs, the first levels. Uh, when she gets more levels, she has Riptide leveled up, she has Illusions, she can just spam the wave mm. and go into the jungle, etc. Ball throw, yeah. get the runes. Muda Muda! Muda Muda? Muda Muda? Oh yeah, how should you pronounce it? Muda Muda? Muda Muda sounds... would be the... I guess English way to pronounce it, but uh, in Korean maybe Muda Muda. Uh, yeah, Muda, maybe yeah. yeah. Muda. In French, it's very easy to use. Muda Muda. Muda Muda. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't sound good, so let's not do that. Did you stick? Uh, bring his bottle, I think. Yeah, or mm. something. I'm curious if he's gonna go straight radiance or if he's gonna get some intermediate items like Akula, mm. etc., etc. Well, he hasn't had free farm in mid, so. We'll have to wait and see. That's a casual bracer. Casual bracer. Could go with drums. I see some people get drums on Naga. Do they want to get more involved? Yeah, we can see that. I'm sure they want to go late game there. Considering the lineups yeah. here, they they should be very comfortable with that and decision. Gabriel is not going for a Midas, so it's going to be much more aggressive. And the thing is, like, if you don't go Midas on the Slark, uh, you rely a lot on the kills mm. to keep up uh, with the Naga's farm. Mm. So it's kind of uh, there was a time I was always getting Midas all the time because at least it gives you room, it gives you options. You can go late game if you need to, if you don't, if your aggression doesn't go as well as, uh, as planned. Ooh, arrow whiffs would have definitely yep. been a kill there. Yep. And uh, yeah, so if you don't go Midas, you you have to make something happen in the mid game, especially against the Naga when you're as a slark. They need to have, get kills and stuff. Oh. And it seems like they're gonna. Firefly is gonna go for the last two here. Though. Jesus stick. He's not gonna song yet. Ooh, Sunstrike does oh, nice. the trick. Nice. And there's your first blood. Muda Muda picking it up. Hey man. His commitment to me is alright, I've been here the whole game. It's time I get something. It's time I get a little something, something out of this, hey this, this deal here. And Hazy making up for his uh, shortcomings in the jungle. Yeah. It's better with heroes than with creeps, it seems. <laughs> Same time though, bottom tower for the Dire going down pretty quick. B minor, not gonna commit to defending this at all. We've seen a Lytic here. Yeah, like. Nice. nice. Yeah, okay, he went treads. Oh, he almost. He's like, uh, I think, 800 away from his mech. Yeah, he is. Wow. Very nice farming from him. 58 last hits. Complete free farm. So yeah, I guess that's oh expected. Yeah, that, yeah right? that's a ton of farm actually. Yeah, 58. But the enemy marks actually really high. Mm. He, yeah, he's, as you said, pretty much free form. Yeah. Uncontested. Completely uncontested. And this is the Midas for the Invoker, okay. Yeah, and Very, very standard for the Exalt build. Yeah, and it's a pretty good timing, so he Invoker, that kill helped. Uh, so he didn't have the best time, but... So, oh. Yeah, ooh, nice pounce. Yeah, he can secure it. Gabriel, not gonna find the kill though, he's gonna teleport out. So Lanner, gonna be safe. 
definitely one way to deal with an early uh, slark. Yeah, so uh, did you see going for the drums build uh, before radiance? Okay, yeah, that's that's a bit more standard, I guess, these days. It's uh, unless you get like complete free farm, I, probably a better idea, I, I'd say. No, yeah, I mean it depends. Preference. Preference too. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, especially, I guess uh, I think B minor is gonna definitely fight bad weather, slark, etc. So. He probably feels like he cannot get away with just rushing naked radiance. And mm. has he again rotating? He's a pretty dead Lana. Oh, Lana in trouble this time. TP in there. Sunstrike gets the kill. And it looks like they will get out with their lives. But wait a second, the tower doing so much damage. And down goes Yo Yap. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, they, get a, they, get a, they get a profit to do this with the support line. They yeah. don't care. I mean, they got a profit and a TP for a support line. Yeah, completely fine there. Yeah, but Hazy doing a lot, uh, even before he gets his Bing Dagger and up. Oh, see the good combo we're talking about. Yeah, that was a sick combo there. But yeah, this is good. Oh, Lion's gonna try there. The Lion is actually. Oh, is oh. oh, but the TP. There's a shallow grave. Oh, no, there isn't actually. There isn't. Sunstrike. Not doing him, uh, that much damage. And looks like Mana Mana. Gonna go down as well. They're not gonna stop there. They're gonna go for Yo Yap yeah, as he well. Has, he has arrow, he has leap. Oh, they have so much damage here. Oh, but hang on a second. Tempered. Oh, one more right click, doesn't get it! Gabriel comes in in the last second to take down Tembird. Yoyap gets out alive. Bit of a messy engagement there after all. Yeah, and he started attacking the creeps. You know, yeah. Attacking the lion, maybe over micring, so he lost his target. Yeah, and I mean, big mistake there, because it only took one more right click to take yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely the, key, the kill. But, uh, oh well. they got the invoker, uh, yep. they got... They got yeah, they only got the invoker, actually. And the, and the Dazzle. Yeah, and the Dazzle. They didn't have Shadow Grave, he's too low level. If you had Shadow Grave, like, you would survive. I can't like. believe he's still too low level. Yeah. Like, man, that, that, that Dazzle has committed a lot to just stacking and, and defending that invoker. invoker. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little too much at this point, actually. Yeah, maybe. You should have been like, alright, like, you're on your own, just be careful. Yeah. Gotta, gotta get some levels. Just don't get caught out. Like, seriously, I didn't even have Shadow Grave. Like, that's actually a problem here. Yeah. Second tower being pushed. Second tier one. Yeah, they already have the mech, so it's gonna be five men. And it should be uh, for sure advantage monkey spanner in this fight. As long as everything goes Yeah, like planned. this seal don't have any items, core items on, on the Slark to be able to fight. They, they can still fight though, but. Yeah, TP in here. They're, they're actually gonna, gonna try commit. To the knight. Oh, oh no. no. Not gonna get it. Lana picks it up here. And TP in was wasted as well. Yeah, they kind of they're all wasting their time here. If they want to give it, give it up, they should just be farming. Yeah, time is money, time is experience. Like bottom lane, there's nobody bottom lane. It's like free lane of farm. That could definitely be for Slark, you know. Yeah, so they need to make decisions. Like they need to be decisive. Okay, we defend or we don't. We don't defend them. Let's get out. Mm, hazy. It's like he will pick up seven star here, or not? Oh, Good what? stun. All right. I think we're still doing enough. But pounce should be able to get him, and it does, especially with the help of flame break. Sunstrike cleans it up there, Jin. Stealing that kill away from Slark. Yeah, he wants stealing it. He wants old gold. Gabriel is not happy. Gabriel is like pretty poor actually. Yeah. Uh, not having the best farm. So he's chasing down an illusion. He doesn't know it's illusion just yet there. And right clicks. Get alive. Yeah. Gonna get it alive. Nice rotation from Honor as well. Oh, well, again, like Namek, the and they're gonna get all the towers. They're gonna keep going. Like, yeah. Again, this is pretty obvious. Oh, game plan for Jin has been put out. Nice ghost walk there. Yeah, he's level ten, so he got his uh, point in, uh, in wax. But yeah, like the game plan for Monkey is kind of pretty obvious. So they should think. They should like again plan ahead. And uh, no, okay, all right. They got. There's only one tier one left. Obviously, they're gonna go there. So oh, here we go again. This should be. Okay. This should be a dead gin, regardless of the shallow grave here. Yep. He's just caught out completely. Uh, Jesus, they gotta be careful. They don't wanna commit too long. And we have a lasso on Lana here. Could turn things around. Nice flame break, but down goes the bat rider as well, as well as dazzle. So close to going down. Gabriel gets into the thick of things, but there's simply just not enough backup now. They're gonna yeah. have to let it go. Yeah, monkey spanner two kills the tower. They lose a profit, like whatever. Whatever. Nice. Doing some great work. Yeah, already 17 on the gold is gonna get his uh, point booster most likely. And Go for that, uh, Aghanims. Yep. I like it. Monkey Spanner in complete control of this game. 
Yeah. They have a Naga and they're controlling the game completely. They still no blink on the Bad Rider, 14 minutes, 14 minutes in, same for the Slug. Uh, that is a big problem actually at this yeah. rate. Uh, at least the Bad Rider should have had it by now. But, um, yeah, he, but like he tried to make stuff happen, that's why he doesn't have it. So he already made some stuff happen around the map, get, got some kills, so it's fine. Yeah. He didn't get the kill, so he couldn't like make up for the loss of uh, farming time. But still, at least he's been doing things. If he was not doing things, then I think B minor would be like, completely crushed by now. Yeah. Uh, what do you think we're gonna see the uh, the profit go for straight up? Uh, I mean, probably Necro because they, they obviously wanna put pressure on the, tier, the t all the towers. Yeah, that's Nec what that's what I would think for sure. But uh, I mean, looking at his looking at his items so far, I, I he could also go for the just miles from there. But I don't think they're gonna go for speed push. So Gabriel. Going one on one with Nace here. Oh, 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 oh nice finger of death. Mechanism activated though. TPs are in. Gabriel and Yoyup gonna have to get out of here. Nice swap under the tower. He goes down. And oh, Mada Mada also caught out. Gabriel gonna try and get out of here alive. And he does. So two for nothing there. Uh, that was close. If the Sunstrike actually hit, you he should have got it. Yeah, he could have gotten the Viper because yeah. pure damage. Blade now. On who? On Lana. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, he wants to fight. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, when you're up against uh, a Slark like that, I guess it helps. Yeah, it, uh, it might be annoying for the Slark. Like, now they cannot really go on the Prophet. I mean, they could, but like, there's a, there's a mech too, so. Mm -hmm. Hazy. Pretty close to his Bing Dagger. Scouts out the supports, yeah. Muda, Muda. Always and here. look at the map control for Monkey Spanner as well. They already have. A sentry up there. They they see everything in the dire jungle. They know exactly where everyone is. Mada Mada. They want to stack. I think. Got to be careful here. There's mud golems. They're gonna get rid of that one as well. So another free. Ah, uh, he doesn't have a sentry. Uh, uh, that's his big dagger. He actually doesn't die this time. He won't die this time, hopefully. Flame break to finish things off. Oh, under the tower, yo, yeah, in big trouble here. I don't think he'll be getting away. Not with viper strike on him. Just a matter of time, there he goes down, and we see another tower being pushed here. Tier 2 up top. Complete control is Monkey Spanner. Yeah, and they're gonna ooh. get more. Song of the Siren, Jin, get caught out by the arrow, and he is not getting out of here alive. Another great pickoff. And this is the Monkey Spanner we're used to seeing. This is the this is the one that has been doing so well in Tier 2 all year long. Currently in second last position of the group here, but it's like they want to turn things around. They want to stay yeah. in the KDL. I mean, they p pick kind of lineups they used to always most play mostly before. Mm. Alright, get a Viper, uh, get a. get a, like, a lot of aggressive heroes. And, like, just, yeah, like, just Viper, basically. Viper, like, so it used to be so strong. And I actually didn't get too nerfed, it didn't get, it didn't change too much. Mm. Didn't really get nerfed that much, so it's still as strong as it was. Gabriel, going one on one. Heroes. One on one, once again with Nace here. I don't know if he should be doing this. We yes, can see a rotation at any time. Oh, well, he's committing to this. Committing to this. Oh, okay, Sunstrike. Uh, hits him. He uh, finally gets a kill. Is it going to be enough to imagic me so I could slow him down and sick, take him magic out? Sick. Uh, right. away. Run, run. All right. All right. Oh, okay. he's going to get out just. Very nicely done from Gabriel. Yeah. He survives. But that was close. Yeah. it's kind of crazy seeing, uh, seeing him. Try for the Viper more than anyone else. Well, it's because of the Invoker. It's yeah, invoker. Sunstrike kind of guarantees yeah. it, I guess. He only has four points in uh, Exhort, though. Mm -hmm. He's only level 11. 18 minutes in with the with the Midas. It's, he's, I mean, he's being shut down. Yeah, he is. No, I mean, when you have lost so much map control from losing four towers already... Yeah, that's uh, that only two tier twos left, and that's it. That is it. <laughs> and against Naga, you don't want to lose map control like this. No, it it kind of should be going the other way around. They should be yeah. trying to have map complete map control against Naga, trying to stop that farm to Radiance. But uh, essentially, Naga is just having free farm at this point in the yeah. jungle. I think this Blink, he still needs to make some use of it. Uh, the, like, the problem, like, yeah, they don't have map control. They cannot really pick up. They don't even have a tier one yet. So yeah, they don't even have a single tier one at this point. We haven't actually had a look at the, the golds, uh, the gold just yet. But uh, I think the there'd be quite a heavy advantage yeah. to Monkey Spanner at this point. Gonna uh, go for the next tier two again. Uh, pretty simple. 
game plan monkey spanner fireman with viper get the towers down so Bimara has to be ready they have to know it's co it's coming they know it's coming they gotta yeah they, they actually gotta, gotta stop finding at this point hazy gonna look for someone there he finds lana yeah, very nice pick but great swap and it's gonna turn this around completely hazy goes down you yeah gotta get out of there but get sprouted he looks like he's gonna be the second victim of this fight and already monkey spanner in prime position to take down this second loss tier two yeah like again Venge and Viper both pretty good against Spider Rider, so like, what is he gonna do? Like, he cannot really jump. The only per the only one he can jump is Venge, but like that's not what he wants to do. It's not who he wants to get. And even he jumped, but there's like nobody to support him. Slug was not there. Invoker was not there. Uh, I mean, yeah, this was a it was very ballsy. And oh, Muda Muda, let's go. Muda Muda, down again here. Fourteen to six. Monkey Spanner down to the last tier 2 kill here. And uh, it looks like they're going to get it without any sort of... Uh, <laughs> There's some already some Naga. Oh, no, it's coming now. Oh, my goodness. It's coming now. It's coming. So, yeah, Naga. It's pretty late, though. It is. It is, I guess, 20 minutes. It's not horrible there. Yeah, but he, he got drums before because he wants to do, he wanted to join the fights. Yeah. So it's okay. I mean, it, they've done so much work from it. I mean, they've got every single tower on the map now. Complete yeah. map control for Monkey Spanner. Gabriel trying to find what he can, but I don't know to what end at this point. Oh, uh, Nasa didn't go for the uh, Aghanims. I think he's going for the Manta, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's going for the Manta. Yep, yep, yep. Well spotted, sir. Why not? At this point, they already they don't actually need the, uh, the Aghanims Viper Strike. They're getting all the kills they want anyway. Yeah, I just want like, to be more of a... More, uh, do more damage, I guess. More of a carry build, maybe? Yeah, more right click. Yeah. It's gonna be better to push the, push the base. Aghanim is good to harass, I guess, when you siege, but... Side that doesn't help you kill buildings. Yeah, and they don't again. They don't have that much tower damage. Yeah, and I mean now we see the bottom kind of transitioning sl uh, slowly into the more of the semi carry build as well. Drums on her already. Yep. Oh yeah. What you saw? Yo, hex. Yes. Nice hex. Illusions. Yeah. Now they're probably gonna try to get, push out the lanes, get Roshan and high ground. Yeah, I, I guess they, at this point they kind of like, well, we had the sickest lead. All we have to do is push the lanes and let Al Naga just creep to a hot tent from there. We'll see oh, he's gonna! Ooh, oh. nice blink yeah. from Jin. On point, but uh, he has a pretty good amount of gold. He has like 2,500 gold. So I'm mm. curious what he wants to get. Uh, there's not really any items you can get on Invoker that's gonna change the game at this point. So. He, Probably maybe your four staff. Just need something, four staff or macro. Just some more survivability at this point. Yeah, just some utility. Because uh, four staffs could, they could use four staffs in this game. That could actually be very helpful, especially when the snare goes down and they got to get out of dodge. It could help out a great deal here. Same with. Could help the battle riders. You can four staff the battle riders. Oh rider. yeah, maybe hopefully get him out of position uh, before swap can come in here. And already on the high ground here, Jin is the first victim of the uh, the siren call. As well as the arrow. Right, they get Stellar the Grave on it though, but Viper Strike will finish him off. Is in, is in the fight, he's gonna get Lana. Ooh, hazy. Caught out in the middle of nowhere. Two down for full honor. And now Nace in deep. Gabriel going to town on him, but... He's stealing a lot of stats. He's gonna get an arrow though. And Should keep him alive for now. Nace yeah, Nace is gonna Ooh. die. Taking all the tower hits, not gonna help out at all. Jesus yeah, sick. Oh. Trying to turn things around here. Same with Tambo, but Tambo actually way too deep. He should have just been running, not trying to take out Gabriel at this yeah, point. He got baited. It's like four dead. Four dead for two here, and they didn't get the tower. Uh, four three actually. Rooker bought back. Uh, yeah. He realized like, oh, I cannot farm this. Yeah. <laughs> he still has 3k gold. He bought back, has still 3k gold. He's doing alright for himself, that's for sure. Yeah, so it was a pretty good fight for uh, B minor. The BKB on Slark did a lot. Mm. Uh, at least I didn't lose that Nagar. I guess that's the biggest thing of all. They didn't lose the Naga, so the Naga's yeah. still doing okay. But yeah, they got shut down. I think they they do a little really bit too far. I was I think it was too early for uh, for a high ground man. I think they should have controlled the map a little bit. Yeah, longer. get Roshan and then they can go. Roshan, I mean, get maybe Necro, ne Necro three on the Prophet. I don't, I'm not sure if he has it. I yeah. don't think he has it. Maybe get another item on the Naga first. Yeah, because Naga is pretty. She cannot fight. She's, she's got butt. She's, yeah, she's songs. That's it. Yeah, she got she got the song arrow, but she doesn't have like huge damage just yet. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the shadow grave saved the day here.
It did indeed. Made them commit way too much with the invoker who well, had bad back anyway. Yeah. So. No, they need, but the, the problem is like they cannot even get anything out of this fight. It's like, all right, we we hold, but we're against the Nagas. So like, they hold, but to what end? This is the problem. It's not like they have like, options in the late game against Monkey Spanner's lineup. They have because of the Bad Rider, maybe. But mm, yeah, yeah. Bad Rider in the late game does uh, can make a uh, can be have a big big impact. A lot of pickoffs. Maybe try to get a rack off of it, but mm. against the Naga and a Prophet, like get map control back in your favor is really difficult. <laughs> so yeah, if you think about the Russian, they're still not even thinking about yeah, considering sure. Russian. It's kind of strange. It is a bit strange, isn't it? But uh, I guess as long as they have map control, like they're kind of just sitting back, like okay, we left map mistake. Oh, man. oh hazy, hazy picks up uh, an illusion here and always pays with his life. Nice try, uh, Hazy. That was a smoke. That was a smoke and a lasso for, for nothing. Yeah. So, Hazy. Bit of a misplay there. An honest mistake, I guess. Yeah. And he didn't see. They don't have. War Again, they don't have map control, so he didn't know. The he had no idea. Yeah. Season run is all right. Let's get it. BKB on the invoker now. I like this a lot. Yeah, it's uh, this kind of needed, I, I guess, considering the. His last two deaths. It's not even, I mean, yeah, he kind of, I guess. He'll keep him alive at the very least. Yeah. Slog going for uh, Scotty next. He doesn't have bye bye. If uh, Slog dies, it's. Ooh, Slug misses the pounce here. Put out in the middle of nowhere, also activating his BKP line. Yeah, but it's, this is a very bad. This fight is very bad. To do my like Gabriel has to be careful here. We can see a sprout and he can be in a he lot of He used everything already. Oh. No BKB, no, no, no Shadow Dance. Like, this is really bad. He got, situation. he got a little bit too excited here. Like he should have. Alright, I missed the pounce speed. It's, he should have uh, bailed out. Yeah, yeah. that pack run away. And we're gonna see the first tier three of the game go down. Nice arrow on the gin here. Swaps him out. Activates yeah, his BKB but, there. Yeah, it should turn now. Drops the meatball, and now they're turning it around. We already see the Venge go down, but everyone from B minor is so low. Oh, oh yo, yeah. One right click away. Radiant's gonna do the job, and the Raxes are under fire. Yeah, and they don't have anything left. The tank to defend this. There's a song, maybe to. Oh, they want to get the kill. Song. So he bought back, so he has no Arrow. Buyback. Oh, the dieback. Oh, is, nope. Uh, I think the dieback will happen regardless yeah. at this point. We already got the Viper on him. He should be oh. ticking out here. Can they get something in return? No. Gabriel looking for something here. Going for the blade mail. Lana, Lana, TPing out. Uh, oh, he gets out alive. And everything's a look. Oh, no, no, Gabriel's dead. Oh, no, okay. Ooh, they should be okay. Should be One okay. second pounce. One more right click. Oh, oh no, that BKB was. Ooh, yeah, that BKB. Now he cannot fight the next next fight, even if they want to try to defend this Rax, they can't. No yeah, BKB. a couple of misplays there from Gabriel at the worst time. And that's the second set of Rax that are going to go down, and there's nothing they can really do about it here. I mean, yeah, yeah, probably going to look for a finger of death on someone. You gotta try. You gonna try. Seven star in a bit of trouble here. He will go down. Yeah, uh, they might. He has a uh, shadow dance ready. Viper getting low as well here, but they are gonna commit hard to this. Yeah, he just. Okay, he has a uh, shallow grave uh, support. So oh, ten bird also getting caught out here. Ten bird's gonna get someone before. Maybe, <laughs> maybe more? Is he gonna get? Uh, two? He's gonna get that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I Meanwhile, well, Lana is getting top. Oh, we got ladder. Oh, uh, that was funny. Getting the line at the last second there, taking everyone down. See a lot of buybacks. One on Gabriel, one on Batrider. I didn't want to chase him, but he's gonna tip you away. There's no no stuns. Wait, who did we see Gabriel go down to? I I, I must have missed that. Yeah, he I think three on TP to Oh whoa, that was Ooh. Close. He would have I think it was uh yeah, no, there was the last one. He would he was gonna die. But yeah. Yeah, I've only two Raxes standing, man, two melee Raxes. Yeah, this and is they're not healthy. This is not good. Things are falling apart for B minor. It's a couple of bad defenses there. A yeah, little, a few, a few mistakes. Like yeah. they were behind. They were already pretty difficult, so they needed to really execute everything as uh, as perfectly as they could. Mm. Uh, yeah, it went pretty well. When they went on Invoker, uh, it, it was a pretty good opening. And I think if Slug had his BKB ready, had everything, they could have they could have fought it. Yeah. But as is, like with BKB having no shadow dance. No, uh, no BKB. Uh, he couldn't commit to the fight, and like, ah, uh, yeah. It was really, really difficult defense from there. There's Lana doing a lot of great work this game on the Nature's Prophet. Has that Necronomicon. Yeah, they're having a great time. Yeah. <laughs>
referee came in and was like, stop having so much fun. <laughs> like, You're being too, no too noisy now. Yeah. Uh, stop laughing. This is serious. But yeah, like, uh, not, not, I don't think the them defending would have mattered too much anyway because, again, they're against the Naga and they don't have much to deal with it. I mean, Level the Lion is pretty good to deal with it, but, I mean... Yeah. Split pushing here is going to make it... It's going to be so easy to split push now. Because they have all the lanes, and now like they have like such dire, I mean, like, damage even, Raxes left. They don't even need to. They can just send illusions to the Raxes. Yeah, exactly. Them. They could just illusion the Raxes at this point. Look how low they are. Both of them are that low. Yeah. It's going to be such an easy uh, push to end things out here, I think. I don't yeah. think there's any way b is going to be able to pull back from here. Nah, it's pretty, pretty much over, but they're going to try. Because this They'll is the try. last game, last game of the season for uh, b minor. Yeah. Moonlight Shadow. Was activated here, Gabriel. Taking a little bit of damage. Arrow in the face. Massive they arrow there. They Can they actually? Yeah, no. they're gonna try, man. I know oh, they're gonna try. And yeah, they want it, of course, man. He got four stars out, but it's gonna take him out of the fight at least for now. Gabriel coming back in here. He's gonna pounce. He gets Lana here, but it's he's all by himself. Gabriel gonna try and man this. The meatball whips everything. Yeah, he's gonna. I think he's gonna kill him. He's like, all right, we gotta kill him or we lose racks. Oh, wow. Well, he actually gets out. Uh, yeah. He gets one. Gets Marana here. They're not gonna get massive, though. They need the slap. Oh, he got bench. Ooh. Meanwhile, they got bench got. here. Meanwhile, Nace. He's still alive, he's hanging in there. Gabriel cannot man mode this one there. Yeah, and they got the bottom racks. I mean, they got the top racks too, so it's... Oh, so they Mega got creeps. everything. Mega creeps time. Same time, Gabriel taking a lot of damage. Radiant's going to try and finish the job, doesn't oh. he? He didn't kill that illusion. Yeah. Ooh, Jin. They will commit, man. They will go for it. Jin has been taking so many uh, arrows to the face here. Tim is like, wait, where are you guys? Like, I'm fighting. Them. Yeah, and ooh, Naga cleans up another. Line is down. Sunstrike, whiffs. No, hits Gabriel. Hits Gabriel, doesn't do damage. No, Gabriel try to get out. He does get out. All this, while this is all happening, tier fours are dropping. Well, GG. GG from B minor and MK, aka Monkey Spanner, hold on yeah. in the tier two. Very, this very important win for them. They could not afford to lose this game or they would have been out. Yeah, they saved their tournament life for now. Yeah, but they got to win the next one as well. Yep. Which will, I guess, most likely either be next week or in the offline, yeah. uh, offline sort of matches. Anyway, we're gonna go for a break, and afterwards we're gonna be rave against yeah. MVP Hot Six. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> 강 팀들을 상대로 지금껏 전혀 밀리지 않는 경기력을 보여준 MVP 하식스인데요. 그 패기가 우승 후보인 네이브에게도 통할 수 있을지 저는 잠시 후이양 팀의 경기로 다시 돌아오겠습니다.